Are you going? Yeah. <laughs> What's up, guys? <laughs> Okay, we thought today would be super fun to do an empty house tour. If you guys missed my last video, I talked about the fact that my husband and I are moving in with my parents. We have a goal to save and get a home as soon as possible. So we were done renting and we were ready to just save. So I thought before we get our stuff moved in here, I'll show you guys what the place looks like. Shameless plug, I'm gonna link all of my husband Nate's info for the builder he works for down here. I get a lot of questions from you guys about homes and places to live down here. So he's your guy. He sold my parents this house and I think you should check out his links that I will leave in the description box down below. So when you first walk in, this is like the little entryway area. I think it's super cute, it has really cool lighting because the door has all glass. I think that's like a great feature, especially when the hallway's like, I don't know, it can be really dark and like I just don't like it. So that's gonna be a shrine of, I picture Nate like being in like a velvet chair. I mean, just, I'm just joking. <laughs> this is like the first guest bedroom. I really like this room. I think it's cute. The other funny thing is my parents are adamant that Nate and I take the master bedroom. It's crazy, I know, but my dad snores and they sleep in separate beds. So I believe this is going to be his room or her room. I don't even remember what they're doing. Do you remember what they said? Yeah, so this is a really nice room. Carpet, I love the tone. It's called Agreeably Gray. All the paint in here has a really nice closet size. And then the guest bathroom is directly across the hall. So it has like really nice finishes. Again, like I love these combos, the white and like the really pretty granite. And then I love the fact that there's a window in the bathroom. The whole feel of this home is just so light and airy, which is like my jam. But yeah, so you walk out here and so it's like right off of the front door. That's the first phase. As you keep walking down the hall, on the left-hand side, you have a really pretty den area and you can make this like a den, office, sitting room, however you wanna do it. I think for us, we're gonna make this like my office. I think it's gonna be really nice. The model that like Nate's actual company set up for this room is so cool. It's like a desk angled with a couch and there's just so much you could do with it. I love the fact that you can close the doors, do your own thing, so soup's cute. All right, to the right, after you get past there, through the door, you have the garage cilantro room. I'm very excited about this because I think that this is like a underrated feature, like not a lot of places, especially apartments, have this, so all the times that I've lived alone, I don't have, where are you going? <laughs> So if I have like stains or things that I need to scrub and get out of my clothes, it's gonna be really nice to actually have like a designated sink for that. And then of course like the shelving above is already built in. It's just the features that you get in a new home that are not like living in an apartment. The garage is really nice size. It's a full size two car garage with attic space. We haven't checked out like what the space is like yet but I think it'll be good for all of us. And then this is the second bedroom. It's a really, really nice size. Really nice light comes into this room as well. Um, this isn't as big of a closet as the other one, but it's just like your standard, I don't really know the names of the Accordion. Ones. Accordion? Mm -hmm. Oh, the doors? It's nice. I mean, I think it's perfect, especially for people with kids or a bigger family. This is a three bedroom, three bath. So my parents are just generous saying, hey, this is way too much space for us. Come hop in and um, live with us. So it's pretty awesome. Another really nice size vanity. I love all the storage in this house. It's kind of crazy how many like cabinets, like there's a linen cabinet behind here. And then you have a full like step down shower. We're still trying to figure out if they want to install like a bar up top to do like that type of uh, shower curtain or if they want to do just like a little pane of glass so you can just like walk around it the water doesn't get everywhere but yeah so that's bedroom number two so once you walk back out front doors to your left just to like show you guys where we are at 
where we've come. The most epic kitchen living room space. I love this. I think this was the selling point for my parents for sure. Huge, huge island, which is so, so nice. And um, all the appliances are stainless steel and the pantry. The pantry is huge. Let me tell you, so nice. So yeah, my mom and I are already talking about like how we can do some fun organization in there. And I think pantries are so important. Again, another feature that you definitely miss out on when you live in apartments, most apartments. I love this section. Again, the storage that you can get out of all of these is insane. I even picture like for holidays, Christmas, Thanksgiving, like the spread you could do on this is so nice and it keeps this whole area clean. And I want to make it like a little coffee station. So do like Keurig, the espresso maker, make it super cute. I'm very excited. Turn around, again, it's an open concept. So the living room is huge. It goes just living room to um, like dining area. So yes, it's a really pretty, like the lighting. I'll keep repeating that because I think the lighting in here is so nice. Like it, it just is so bright. You don't need many lights on, which is like my favorite thing, especially with filming. Like I do not like um, harsh, not natural lighting. Okay, we'll go to the master bedroom and then I'll show you the back patio. I love this master bedroom. Like I already know our stuff is going to fit and then some. Like. Literally my dresser can go there. I think I'm gonna do a chair. The bed is perfect, the end tables. Like it's a really, really nice size master. Overall this home I believe is 2200 about square feet. I'll link the info down below, like I said, with neat stuff and then the floor plan that this is for the company he works for. If any of you guys are interested, it is a national uh, builder, so it's not just to Florida, but of course if you are moving to Florida, you know who your guy is Okay, so when you walk through here really really nice his and hers closet space I'm excited about this because if you watched my last video all about my closet declutter My husband and his laundry man. It's intense so he can just have his own little space in there and he can just leave his clothes Wherever he wants hang him from the ceiling. I don't care because we will shut the door as he would say and not think about it Another amazing feature of this home is the master bathroom. It is literally so beautiful I love the space of this vanity. I have not had drawers like in my master bathroom in a while love 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 the tub and the shower and i think we're gonna get like a bench in there i love the fact that the window is like right by the bathtub it just lets in such pretty light i also love the lights i didn't realize that they're like not super yellowy that's really a plus up in here there's nathaniel my trusty film filming machine but yeah, it's like overall, I'm so excited. I wanted to share with you guys because in my Florida video, I definitely had questions as far as like apartments, living spaces, homes, condos, like what my tips and options are. I've only lived in two, three now, three other apartments. It was one was a condo, two were apartments. This is our first home here, but it's my parents' home. So yeah, I wanted to just show you guys before we got all of our stuff in and um, give you an idea of like price points and what you can expect when you're buying in Florida, just a general range. Before I end the video, I almost forgot the patio and outside area. It's such a cool space and I'm gonna take you there now. All right, so a feature that I love is that these are pocket doors, so you can literally push them all the way open and have like a really nice open air feel into your living room. There are options to extend your cage and of course add a pool. So for now, this is great. I do think that they want to extend the lanai, but they have a really cute fire pit with four chairs that they're gonna be putting out here. And then I love the outside area, the fact that it's just a straight tree line is so pretty. My dad's already talking about getting some like kind of pretty like northern trees almost like pines and stuff like that to almost like put 
around the fence line to give even more of that like woodsy feel. So that is gonna be all for today's video. Again, I just wanted to make this in terms of my people out there who are interested in moving, who are wondering what it is like to live in Florida, what the homes are like. I'm gonna list all the info down below for Nate's website and his email if you guys have any questions about homes and communities that he has to offer it on here. I think that it would really help you guys out. If you have any other questions, just leave them in the comments down below of course as always if you are not subscribed please subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the future moving vlogs because those are definitely coming within the next couple of months but i love you guys and i will see you all in my next video bye